Yep, 100%. Not supposed to be that way. Not sure if it'll buff out. God, we also dinged my hood. Son of a gun. That's it, we made it. Yeah. Okay, well, if you're back watching this video, that's because you saw the carnage. Uh, at the track on Friday night, trying to put the car in the eight oh, on pump oh, gas. Baby. Everybody likes to show you all the cool stuff that they do, celebrating at the lines when they do it, but sometimes those celebrations turn into some tears. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the car this morning. We just literally threw everything in the garage, closed the door. I'm gonna go ahead and take the car off the trailer this morning and give you a little sneak peek as to why tires are not in the location they're supposed to be. I got a little greedy. Obviously, some would say maybe I ran out of talent. Give us some time. We'll take it apart. We'll get some parts ordered, and we'll be ready for race week. Let's have a first look. Actually, it's not a first look. I cheated last night. We looked at the track, obviously, but uh, let me let me take the hood off and and let, let's see what it looks like. The struts are supposed to be below this plate, not uh, blown out through it. We went ahead and blew out the other side too. We'll get those struts sent off and have them looked at. Let's put it on the left and see what the bottom. We see the top side's pretty mangled. Let's see how the bottom looks. Belly pan, trashed. We brought a little bit of Houston Raceway Park home with us. A perfect impression of the oil pan on the catch can. Yeah, that's not optimal. Nothing in the subframe, nor about that. That was me trying to figure out how I was gonna do tow hooks early on in the program. We did not actually touch the subframe at all. The strut, the strut mounts on top are trash, so the, the subframe has to be changed. I don't see any marks on the turbos. A-arms still all look to be intact. Connections of the subframe back to the firewall. Don't ignore my knock sensor. It's just hanging out there. Nothing, nothing looks distorted at all on the actual subframe mounts. We didn't, we didn't touch the front of the car. License plate's still there. Let's go back here and look. Sorry, Rudy, bent up our belly pan just a little bit. Looks like a little weight reduction mod on the fins of the transmission. So we'll definitely pull the transmission out. We'll do an inspection of the bell housing. Now's a good time to give it another look. Obviously it did tap the ground, so we'll, we'll definitely pull it out. Oil pan, can't see it yet, but yeah, that oil pan definitely got a bend in it in the back. Uh, that's that's to be expected. First impressions, guys. We got lucky. We got very lucky. Uh, we're gonna maybe we'll drive this back over to Houston Raceway Park and give them some of their rubber and glue back. Nah, just kidding. Uh, a lot of good memories at that track. It's where I had my first round wins, my first round losses. Sad to sad to see that track go away. But <laughs> I would have to say we made an impression our last outing in Houston Raceway Park. Not the impression anyone would want, but uh, hey man, it's memories. Uh, none of us are here for a long time. Go make some memories. <laughs>